Is it good to sit cross-legged if you have knee pain from chondromalacia patella? I'm going to answer this question as well as give you some explanations about what chondromalacia patella is and what to do about it in this video. But let me be direct. It is not a good idea to sit cross-legged like this if you have chondromalacia patella. And the reason is because the root problem of chondromalacia patella is that there's too much compression going through the kneecap. I have my model here. There's the kneecap. It's being compressed against the thigh bone. And when you sit in that cross-legged position and you're bending your knee and then turning your leg out, you're increasing the pressure even more. And although it may not hurt you the moment that you do it, and you may be comfortable even for a little while, maybe 15, 20 minutes, some people can tolerate more time, but if you eventually start to get knee pain, the reason is because if you're holding your knee in this bent position, and you have an injury on the back of your kneecap on the cartilage, or sometimes the cartilage on the end of the thigh bone where the kneecap sits is also injured, you're just smashing the injury. It's the same thing as if you had a cut on your skin and you just hold it like that. Yeah, it might hurt, it might not damage it right away, but after 30 minutes, an hour, it's gonna hurt. You're potentially gonna rip the scab off or cut the blood flow off to the area where it really needs it because it's healing and you're going to cause a worse problem. So you don't wanna be sitting in this position for any extensive period of time. Maybe for a quick moment, especially if it doesn't hurt, but you don't wanna hang out there. Now, why doesn't it hurt right away? For some people, if they're not inflamed, it won't hurt right away because you're not doing something active where you're having to bear your body weight or, or do something with even more than your body weight, like if you're lifting weights, because that will put extra tension on the kneecap. Think about it. If you're if you're standing and you're stepping up a stair or you're holding some weights and you're doing some squats or some you're, you're doing some exercise where you're forcefully using your muscles, then those quad muscles will really tension up and pull the kneecap up against the thigh bone. And so it, it tends to hurt a lot quicker in that, in that scenario. It might even hurt instantly for you. But if you just relax and you sit down and bend your knee, it may not hurt right away, unless it's very severe. If it's very irritated, it will. But if it's mild, mild to moderately irritated, then you can probably tolerate some time sitting cross-legged, but you're still not doing a whole lot of good for your kneecap. You need to make sure you get out of that position sometime soon so that you can give the cartilage space for the fluid to get in there and for it to continue the healing process that it wants to go through. So what should you do instead? Now, the best thing to do is to begin to do some exercises to get the fluid to move inside your knee joints. So some simple things you can do are just swing your legs back and forth nice and easy. There's other exercises out there that I've got on YouTube here. You can go down to the playlist in the, in the description below here and you'll find a ton of videos to help people with chondromalacia patella. Another option is just to get up and move around, change positions, just walk, go to the bathroom, do something different. All of these things are going to help you in the short term so that you're not dealing with the pain after sitting for a while. But in the long term, you've got to fix a root problem. And the root problem lies in that pressure that I was telling you about. In the knee joint, you have the quad muscles in the front of the thigh that all come down. They converge into the patellar tendon. That's this thing right here. And they attach to the kneecap. And so if you're using those quad muscles consistently, if you're overbalanced, if you're imbalanced, and your quad muscles are the dominant muscle group when it comes to your hips and thighs, then you're going to be consistently putting too much compressive forces through that kneecap and pulling the thigh, the, the kneecap into the thigh bone. This is what sets up chondromalacia patella. Now this isn't a common explanation for it. Many times healthcare providers will say that it's age related or activity, activity related, they'll say that it's due to too much running or too much jumping or too much of some sport or, some, or weightlifting too. You're lifting too much weight or, or weightlifting too frequently, but it's not those things because how is it that there's other people doing the same activities as you and their knees are okay? It's maybe, you're, maybe you really are genetically predisposed and it could be a combination of you being genetically predisposed plus an activity that other people tend to get knee pain in but not everyone and that combination might be setting you up but even deeper than that, if you tend to use your quad muscles and there's other muscles that are weak and not doing their job when they should be, usually it's the glute muscles, 
if you can begin to use your glute muscles more, then it'll put your quads in a better position to not overactivate and not compensate, which will take that pressure off your kneecap and allow you to have a normal knee and be able to go do all those activities without knee problems. This is how we fix chondromalacia patella in a nutshell. There's more to it than that, but that's the quick explanation. Hey friends, if you're looking for the details on fixing your chondromalacia patella problem for the long term, then go check out our program called the Patella Pain Recovery Program. There's a link to it in the description below. It's an online program with over 30 videos with my treatment approach where I focus on teaching you all the steps necessary to fix the root problems that are setting up chondromalacia patella so that you can avoid relying on pain medications, going to get injections from the doctor, and definitely avoiding a surgery or problems in your later years like meniscus tears and osteoarthritis in your knees. Treat this problem now, the root muscle imbalance, and you're saving yourself from a lifetime of knee trouble as you age. Hey friends, if this video was helpful for you, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time we release a new video. And if you have a question, if you have a comment, drop a comment down here. We want to see it. We love to get back to our comments as fast as possible. And please share this with a friend that you think needs to see this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.